Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome in. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. Thank you for your love, your time, your support, your energy. It means the world to me, you guys. It really truly does. Um, I have a timeless love reading for you. So whenever you find it, you are meant to. This is going to be a divine masculine, divine feminine reading. And what I'm receiving is a message for the divine feminine, okay? And what I'm hearing very clearly is that recently you've come into a massive epiphany or you've had a, a clarity moment here. It's like the Ace of Swords. It's like the divine has come in and given you absolute clarity around your situation around your situation right now and what you need to do and what I feel that you need to do right now divine feminine is take your power back from your divine masculine pull back take your power back stand in your truth move forward walk away release yourself from the chains that bind you together I see you trying to um, do cord cutting okay because I feel this density to your energy um, your masculine is stuck in some sort of a loop, some sort of a cycle here. You can see through this illusion. Okay, I feel like many of you are starting to really see the truth of the situation and you're starting to let the, you're starting to take the rose colored glasses off around your masculine, around the connection, and you're starting to see the truth of what is. And the truth of what is, is that they're not showing up for you like they should. They're not giving you what you deserve and you know you deserve more, much, much more. They're choosing to stay with um, maybe another partner or in a karmic cycle. They're choosing to stay in some sort of karmic loop here that really has a hold on them and there's literally nothing you can do about it. The only thing you can do is take back your power and move on and truly, honestly, Open your heart to new love, new opportunities, a new direction for you. I feel that nothing has changed, okay? That's what I'm hearing. Nothing has changed. Everything's still the same, but you're changing, Divine Feminine. Your masculine is staying stuck. They're not changing, but you are, okay? So you can see, you can see that this is not good for you right now. And what you need to do is be done for good, okay? Like tr really, truly done 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 like you were closing this door you were locking it and you were throwing away the key okay and you're sealing up the edges all right and you're turning your back and you're walking towards new love you're opening your heart because you're ready you want love and you're ready for love and the universe wants to bring that to you okay so you're being guided to let go you want more you deserve more you deserve someone who is ready and able and willing to love you the way you deserve right here and right now okay so i'm hearing let your friends help you let your friends help you so maybe your friends have been bugging you like hey let me create a dating app for you or hey let me set you up on a date with one of my friends or one of my friends friends or one of my co-workers or whatever the situation is here you guys your friends want to help you and let them Okay, open up. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat chakra just went. Open up, all right, to new opportunities, new ways of doing things. Um, I feel that you guys are being guided to change up your schedule, change up you, your routine. Um, maybe like go to different places than you normally go. It's, it's like time to switch up this energy, okay? It's stagnant. It's very, very stagnant. And the universe doesn't want you stagnant, divine feminine, all right? So yeah, and I feel that the, the energy with your masculine is extremely stagnant right now. And they're making you feel... It, it's not bringing you joy. This connection is not uplifting you. It's not serving you at all. This is what you've realized. You have complete clarity around this and you're ready to just take out your sword and release yourself from this connection. Increase. It's a number three cycle. See how it says cycle? This is what I mean. I feel like this is a cycle that your masculine has you in repeatedly they're in a cycle and you are caught up in their cycle with them and the only thing you can do right now is break free and go your own way i'm getting that song by i think it's fleetwood mac you can go your own way go your own way 
Okay, go your own way. Because it's time for you to focus on your ab abundance. And that's what's coming in for you. There's going to be an increase in money, an increase in wealth, stability. I'm hearing like a happy home. Partnering up with someone who will love you, protect you, and be um, be able to give you the love that you deserve, okay? That's what I'm getting. And you're close. You're close to this manifestation coming in as well. A consciousness of lack. So this is what I feel your masculine makes you feel. I feel like they make you feel like shut out or rejected, left out in the cold, like you don't matter. Like they're not reaching out. They're not making the effort. They don't matter. Like you don't matter to them. Um, they, you know, it's all of that. And it's, you're sick of it. You're sick of it because it's leaving you feeling brokenhearted, left out in the cold, constantly rejected. Like you're not a priority. It makes you feel shitty and you're tired of feeling shitty so you're letting this go and look what you're turning towards you're going to turn your back on this and you're going to head towards this an increase in abundance an increase in love many of you are going to be moving locations starting new jobs starting new careers making more money teacher so you know what I'm getting from this I feel that you're you're masculine they're not learning the lesson okay you were sent to be their teacher to inspire them in some way and to reveal to them some sort of karmic cycle that they've got going on but they refuse to learn they're refusing to learn they're a bad student they are a very bad student this is someone who's going to have to be sent to detention quite a few times before they realize that they're going about life the wrong way, okay? And I just feel like you've done all that you can do and it's really, you're being guided to just cut all ties. Remove yourself completely from your masculine's life. Block them off of social media. Go to different places in your daily routine. Try new things. Make new friends. Go your own way. It's time for you to go your own way. And I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons from this connection, Divine Feminine. And the main lesson you've learned is how, like how, how to know when to take back your power and open up your heart to new opportunities and new love and to not have your sights set on just one person or one, um, one potential outcome. Okay, this is really teaching you to free your mind, to let go. It's teaching you about self-worth, self-value. Because if you look, this woman is, is totally engrossed in this book. She is learning and she's loving it. She's like, wow. <laughs> and look at this guy. He's just standing there, apathetic. His hands are by his side. He doesn't have a book. He's not reading. He's not learning. He's just standing there doing nothing. He's not learning. He refuses to pick up a book. He refuses to learn. But here's Divine Feminine totally engrossed in learning. You, you're growing, you're developing, and therefore you are, well, moving beyond your masculine right now. Okay, I really feel like you're you're not aligned with your masculine right now. Oh my gosh. On the bottom of the deck, we have deserving. Exactly. You know you're deserving of so much more. And you're going to get it. You're going to get it. Okay? The universe provides. The universe delivers. Okay? A creative endeavor. Yeah, so Divine Feminine, I see you really pouring all of your energy and focus onto your creative projects, your family, maybe you're going traveling, your hobbies, like you're going to be trying something new. You're getting out there and exploring. Okay, this could be photography, music, writing, painting, 
traveling, anything, anything that you are inspired to do right now is where all of your energy is going to be focused and it's going to lead to an increase in abundance. It's also going to lead to a lot of peace for you, okay? And that's what you want. That's what you want so much, Divine Feminine. You want this to stop. You want this cycle to stop. You, want, you don't want to feel this way anymore. You don't want to feel heartbroken. You don't want to feel dismissed. You don't want to feel ignored. You don't want to feel like an outsider in your masculine's life anymore. So you're taking back your power. You're taking back control and you're moving on. Look at this. Looky, looky, you guys. Stuck energy. This is what I mean. Stuck energy. It's a number eight. Your masculine is stuck. They are stuck in the muck and they're not getting out. They refuse to move. They refuse to change. They're not learning. And so the universe doesn't like stuck energy. You're not meant to stay stuck with your masculine. You're meant to move on because you're meant for big, bright, amazing things. So this masculine is going to stay stuck with their tires in the muck, totally sinking in quicksand, totally missing out on joy and happiness because they're they're not moving. And you are this rainbow behind your masculine and you're just, you're just going to be shining elsewhere. Okay, you're going to be moving in a different direction is how I feel because you're not going to stick around and feel like this. You're sick of being stuck. You're you're tired of being bound almost or chained to this person in a sense. Um it's like the energetic bond you share is not serving you right now. It's making you feel stuck in a constant state of lack or you're, something like this and you don't want it. So you're rejecting it and you're focusing your energy elsewhere on things that bring you joy. And I'm telling you, it's going to work out for you. The honoring path. Yeah, look at you. This is where you're headed. You're headed for a victory. People are going to be celebrating you. You're meant to be in the public eye, doing what you love and receiving a lot of accolades and re awards for them. You could be a singer, a musician, um, an actor, or you could have your own website. Um, you could be in the public eye. Anything, you guys. But look at, look at you. Like you're going to be glowing doing what you love and being celebrated for your gifts and your talents, okay? Whatever it is that you're learning, it's going to lead to your success. Look at this. We have true love on the bottom. This is where you're headed. True love. And I feel like it's true love for self because this woman is looking into a mirror and she sees her reflection, okay? So you're falling in love with yourself, first of all, which is not narcissistic, <laughs> right? It's just like self-love. You love every part of you. You love yourself enough to turn your back on something that is not serving you in order to find something that will, okay? True love is on its way to you. True love, and I feel very strongly, it's not with the current divine masculine you're dealing with, okay? They're just staying stuck. They're not moving anywhere. You're meant to shine. You're meant to be successful, and right now, the truth of the matter is um, they, can't, they can't go with you right now. They're staying stuck, right? Because they choose to keep themselves stuck. Maybe they're lacking confidence. Maybe they're stuck in a cycle. Maybe they feel like they're too knee deep in like responsibilities. Whatever it is here, your masculine's not learning, but you are. You're moving forward. And you're going to be finding true love. Someone who's ready, willing, willing, and able to love you the right way that you deserve. Travel. Yes. Okay, so I was picking up on travel vibes. Okay, some of you are going traveling. That is confirmed. Like you want to move. You want to move. Some of you may be going on a vacation and you might meet someone there. Some of you just want to move. Maybe like stop doing things in your city and maybe go to the next city over and see what kind of experiences you can have over there, right? Um, maybe it, you're just being called to like, I don't know, switch up where you go on a daily basis just to have new experiences and meet new people, 
I'm hearing like fresh, fresh energy, <laughs> fresh blood, fresh people, because wherever you are, it's like stagnant. It's super stagnant and you want to switch this up. Okay. So you could be going traveling long-term, maybe short-term, maybe you're just going out, um, out of your city, exploring, um, exploring your own backyard, so to speak. But I just feel like you're on the move, Divine Feminine, okay? Many of you could be getting ready to pack your bags and move locations. Move to a new home. Move to a new city. Because you know what? We have behind a mask here, okay? So your masculine is still wearing this mask. They refuse to take it off. They refuse to be honest with you. They refuse to come forward and tell you how they're really feeling. And this has been a cycle that has been going on for months and months and months and months, okay? Maybe even years for some of you. They're hiding behind a mask. They're not being authentic. This continues to be a cycle. Family. Divine Feminine, you're ready for a happy home life, a happy family. And I heard that when this first card came out. And this is what's going to be happening for you. I feel that you'll be meeting someone who is ready for what the same things that you're ready for right here, right now. Your family will be expanding. Many of you are going to meet someone and you're going to have children with this person. It's a true love for you. Many of you are going to meet somebody and you'll be able to blend families, move in together and just live a beautiful, peaceful, harmonious life with this person who is able to love you properly, okay? You might be traveling to see family, okay? Maybe you have been apart from people that, you know, your mother and father or your grandpa and your grandma or your sister or your brother, okay? Maybe they live abroad and you're really missing them and you feel that this is the right time to go and travel and see them, Okay, and look, we have discovery on the bottom. Exactly. You will discover someone or something amazing along your travels. Okay, this is you wanting to have an adventure. Spice up the energy. Move, move out of this stuck energy that is going on between you and your masculine. And explore. See who you might meet. Go to the next town over. Go to Scotland or... <laughs> Go to Hawaii or where it, wherever it is that you're being called to go, okay? Because you just never know who you're going to meet. You never know what kind of experiences you're going to have or what you will discover or who you will discover, right? Like, look at this guy. He's panning for gold and he's like, oh my gosh, I, I think I found a diamond here. I think I found a jewel and this is you. You're going to find someone very, very special when you go on an adventure, when you try something new, okay? Maybe you're just being called to, um, again, it doesn't have to be like a big scale. Like you don't have to travel across the world. Just do what you're being guided to do in order to spice up the energy, okay? Maybe go to a different grocery store, to a different coffee shop. Maybe you're being called to um, go to a different gym, right? Like quit that gym membership, try a different gym, or maybe you want to do hot yoga instead of the gym, whatever it is here for you. Okay. Just follow your intuitive nudges here. New beginnings. Look at this. It's a number one new beginnings and it has a baby on it. So this is what you're headed towards a new relationship, a new beginning with someone else is what I feel. And you might end up having a child with this person. Okay. I feel that your masculine is just way too fragmented. They're way too all over the place, way too scattered, in and out, up and down, back and forth, wishy-washy, um, re refusing to budge, wearing a mask, staying stuck. Your higher self is guiding you to move forward. Look at this. It's a number two spirit, your higher self. And if you notice, she has a huge heart over her chest with angel wings on it. And this was this is what I was bringing through at the beginning of the reading. Divine Feminine, you are being guided by your higher self to turn your back, go down a different path, and open your heart to new love. That message is confirmed. So here you go, opening your heart to new beginnings, new opportunities, new love. And let me tell you, it is going to set your soul on fire. You are going to feel free. 
okay? Because I feel like you have been feeling chained, stuck, and bound to your masculine for too long. And it's exhausting and nothing's changing and you want more and you deserve more. And this is what's coming in for you because you decide to remove yourself from this stagnant situation once and for all. And I'm telling you, it's the right decision. Like if you're being guided to do this, Spirit is saying, yes, this is your confirmation. All right. Okay. You may be blending families. For example, you could have two kids and the person you're about to meet has two children. You come together and you have four kiddos. Okay. Or maybe you have two kids, your person has one kid, and then you end up having a baby together. Okay. I'm really getting that for some of you. For those of you who want a baby or who are open to that. So, yeah, this is basically the message, you guys. So, again, let your friends help you, all right? Go where you're being called to go. Follow those inner gui that inner guidance, those inner nudges, all right? Listen to your higher self because it really is coming through with some strong guidance for you at this time okay because yeah the universe doesn't want to see you stuck because you're meant to be here in the spotlight being honored being celebrated sharing your gifts sharing your light and I feel that this masculine of yours they keep sort of bringing you down or they keep you in some sort of a cycle here okay so moving on taking your energy closing that door moving on and turning around and opening your heart chakra up to new experiences, new love, new beginnings. And I'm telling you, as soon as you do that divine feminine, as soon as you turn around and open up that heart chakra, you are going to be so magnetic. So many people and opportunities are going to come to you. They're just going to be pulled to you. All right. It actually may shock you how quickly this new beginning comes in. Spirit says, get ready, get ready. Okay. You're doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing is what I'm hearing. All right, my darlings. So this is what I have for you for this one. I hoped um, you enjoyed this message. I hoped it resonated with you. I hope you got something positive out of this. And I'm sending you all the good vibes, wishing you all the best on your journey. And remember, stay aligned, my friends, stay aligned. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.